ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Combination to the head. Roger's known as a guy who isn't going to... Oh, that's a big shot. Big shot there. He goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced to survive. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Carries that punch intended for the head. That's it! Rogers' work in training camp is now paying off. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Solid. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Here we go, round two is underway. Rogers' combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Well-placed left hand there. Halfway through round number two. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Wow! Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Oh, round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Good right hand. Good left there. Rodgers has got a way of just getting away from that punch. He didn't see that left hand. And big, big shot comes crashing home. From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. The box, bang the box. Three rounds in the books here, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Rogers has got to find that one thing that will separate him from his opponent so far because it's an even fight. And I think that one thing is the jab because on the outside, just a little bit too often, they're both playing the game a little bit like, you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. If, if somebody just decides to use the jab in those dead spots, they're going to separate themselves. Exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Rogers. Nice 
Rogers out there just waiting on a counter punch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he could go through that door. Fine looking right hand by Rogers. That was a left hand that came. There it is! Knocked down again! Unreal! Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? And round four comes to an end. Rogers very accurate, and you can see it even early on in this fight, Teddy. He just has a target from long range that he can hit upon, and it's his opponent's head. Well, what he's doing is he's acting like a realtor. What I mean by that is he's charging his opponent for real estate. Every foot that he comes in, he charges them three or four punches. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Little head hunting with the left. Good defensive skill with the block by Rogers. He did not see that right hand at all. Oh, and there you go. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. You need to keep that head moving. Rogers' defense is paying off now. Protecting his head well with his guard. How about that left hand? Clean shot with the right. Rogers fighting real good, solid right hand lands. Oh! What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. You can do it. You can do it. We can do it. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Rogers' blocking ability is doing well for him there. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is let your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. A little head hunt. Oh, and a crushing hook. And yet another big shot comes in. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. I know those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. As we start round number eight here, Rogers is enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard. And Teddy, the other thing is, this is a fighter that is showing no signs of letting up. No, it's up to him. I mean, he could coast home now, put it into cruise control, co-pilot, or go for the gusto.
miss that uppercut. Wow, nice flush left hand. Solid right by Rogers. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. Shot blocked. Rogers in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that? A credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Rogers tagged by a hook. Crashes home with a hook. hook. Rogers is starting to score. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. And that's the end of round nine. Well, I suppose there's a lesson to be learned here, but it may be too late to learn it. Time and again, as we've gotten to the later rounds of this fight, his opponent has landed these headshots, and he's done so at a very safe... That's a huge left he just scored with. That's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Rogers is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's in. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. He's gonna go. Well, this has not been a close fight, Teddy. Rogers enjoying a big, big left hand. combination by Rock. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, that was a smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt. He should have taken a little step back and not allowed him to grab. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. <laughs> Hook by Rogers. As we're between rounds now, Teddy, it gives us pause and time to reflect on what he's about. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Fires off that hook. Teddy, he's just covering up. That's all he's doing, but it gives his opponent so much time. Boom, left hand comes home. holding Rogers at his best when the comedy he didn't see that left solid oh this is gonna be close he may be able to survive the round but he has gone down now One, two. so two guys 
who everybody thought had no chance of hearing the final bell, now wait for the judges' scorecards. Oh, explosions early on, but later on, just a little tap dance. That's a well-earned victory by Rodgers. And it's nice to see when not only all three judges have it for him, but your scorecard agrees. Yeah, it is. It doesn't mean I'm going to hang out with these guys or go to dinner with them afterwards, but right now I'm going to say job well done, guys. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.